Good afternoon, Corey Champ here. I just wanted to chime in on something that um, I covered on Friday with my students. And the topic is vulnerability. Now, the thing about being vulnerable, growing up as a young man into adulthood, um, I've always been taught to not show emotion. I've always been taught to hold things in. That was a part of a boy becoming a man. Now, as I grew older and done a lot of research and um, higher education, so to speak, I've learned that that's not enough. As men, we have to give more especially as men in education. We have to give more. And there was certain moments when I went back and looked back at the video, how I seen that I was kind of at a vulnerable state with some of the questions that my students were asking me because they got to see that, hey, Mr. Champ really does care, you know, about us. And, you know, that is true. I do care. And the thing is that we have to be sometimes at our most vulnerable state for our children to really make connections. Like, it is okay. Um, we don't have to walk around and, and be weak. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that sometimes we have to let our students in. You know, we have to let them in. We have to let them see us for who we really are. We have to let them see us in a different light. That's why I love going on field trips. That's why I love having meet the teacher. That's why I love having like little dance events that we may have in a cafeteria. Um, what, what's another one that I'm thinking about? Uh, the fun run. You know, they get to see us in a different light. They get to see us, you know, jolly and having fun and not always, you know, open your book to page 265 or today in the lab, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. You know, they, they really see that we are human beings and we really make that connection. So with the DLL program, we had to do a uh, blog along with our synthesis statement. I decided to just go ahead and do another video vlog because it just is more um, personalized. Okay. And I just like to have a personal effect and approach towards my work because you really get the gist of it. You know, you really get to understand where I come from. And um, that's just something that was really on my mind. This is a quick vlog. It's not going to take a long time at all. But I just want to speak on being vulnerable. And, you know, it is OK because we have to let students see us for who we are. And that's one of the things about going into the unknown that I spoke about in a previous vlog, because we're out there with no safety net. We're out there with uh, no comfortability, okay? Um, just trying new things, venturing out. It exposes you as a human being, but at the same time, it makes you stronger. And we all want to be stronger for our students. We all want to be stronger just as a human being, you know? And... That's why, you know, I have segments in the middle of academics where I, I talk about um, manners. I, I talk about being a responsible socialization type of citizen. Like we have to socialize, but we, we have to function. And if we don't have those certain social skills, um, it's, it's really hard to kind of build on your education as well. We can, we can test kids all day. That's not a problem. But we have to teach them how to be able to function in the world. We have to teach them how to be able to communicate with one another, how to work in small groups. You know, those things matter. Um, it may seem so simple and, and overlooked, but I don't overlook that because when I chime in on those subjects, I really get a good response from the kids because I'm, I'm taking time to actually help them to be better communicators. I'm, I'm helping them 
to be able to um, better adjust when they have to face adversities, okay? Um, so being vulnerable, I'm just connecting everything back together. That's all a part of being vulnerable. That's all a part of letting them see me and letting my inner light shine out, you know? Because I was once a kid also, and I remember, you know, how it feels when you don't want to be that kid raising your hand in the classroom to answer a question because you may be afraid that you may get the answer wrong and you don't want to get shown up in front of your friends. Like, it's okay. You know, um, that's all a part of being vulnerable because when you shock yourself and you actually do good, then you become even stronger. And I'm, I'm building students to be strong through academics. I'm building students to, to be strong through socialization. I'm, I'm building students to be strong through just being a well-rounded individual, which will increase higher level thinking. Thus, the educational experience when they with me will be magnified and intensified, and, and they're going to get the best out of me. That way they can get the best production to excel while they're with me for a school year. And then that's going to go on and on and on. They can see me five, ten years from now and remember the conversations and the things that took place. So with that being said, it's supposed to be a short segment. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, be comfortable with one another. You know, it's OK to be vulnerable. It's OK to let them see their teacher not in a suit and tie all the time. You see me with the. Texans gear, you know, I'm about to go and visit some family and friends. It's, you know, it's okay. I am human. And they need to see me in different light. That way, they will want to work harder and, you know, do the things that make them happy. I do things to make me happy. We do things to make each other happy when we're around each other. They have to be able to live without me holding their hand every step of the way. And that's why I'm building my students so they can be independent. OK, I'm independent. I want my kids to be independent. I want my kids to be a reflection of me. So that's why I take the time out and I do the things that I do. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, it was a quick little vlog segment for my master's program to tag it along with the other video that I just shot for Valentine's Day. Y'all have a good day. I'll see you on the next segment. All right.